Okay, I think we're I think we're live. Here we go. <clears throat> Hi everybody, it's Tuesday night. Hello, hello. Here we go. It's gonna be another crafty craft show video show chat show where we do arts and crafts for adults and we chat with the chat room because that's how we like to do it <laughs> that's the way we do it so we i've been playing with my buttons let me get uh, my chat room set up here oh uh dana said that uh I think I'm going to, Dana's been on vacation, so she's home now. So I'm going to send her an invite. And let me get my chat room up here. We're going to get set up. Set up. Let's get me, let's get me home and get me my channel. There we go. Let's get me home. <laughs> and, and I'll turn it down. Me. I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down. And well, hi, Ra, Ra, hi. <laughs> you love the lettering, okay? <laughs> um. So, uh, let me get over here one more second. I'll be right with you. We're gonna get started here. Let's get Dana in here to help me. She can be my helper tonight. And I'll send her a little, a little link. There she goes. There she comes. Something went wrong. Uh-oh. Alrighty, let's try it again. Hang on. It, it didn't want to do it like I wanted it to do. <coughs> <coughs> We'll just give it a good try again here. Let's try that. Send. Okay. Let's see here. Let's copy it and put it in the chat room and see if Dana can get in from there. <coughs> It's in the chat room. Uh, I might be able to get it to her through through another way. <laughs> another way, if possible. Let's try this way. There's more than one way to do it. Copy it and paste it over here. I don't know how I'm doing it. I'm just, I just know that I can copy and paste. So we'll see if that works. This one was an arrow. We'll get rid of that one. I don't want any echoing. So let's see if she can find me through there. Hi, Leah. Hi, Teresa. Oh, boy. Uh, Teresa said she was able to get all her swaps out today and now working on your her happy mail. Good, Teresa. So, uh, Raul, you want to come in for a, a, a few minutes? I know it's late where you are, Raul. Raul, and I, I would not, I would love to have you come in for five minutes if you want to come in and click that link in the uh, chat room to see if you can come in. It's up to you. I sent Dana one, and uh, we'll, we'll give her a try and see if she can get in here. <clears throat> Roll talked about wanting to come in with me sometime, and uh, you just let me know when. <laughs> you just let me know when you want to come, Roll, and I'll, I'll work on it. Hi, Ma. There's Ma and Leah and Teresa. I think I said hi to everybody. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes, when she's having night shift. Okay, well, give me a heads up. I usually stream about 6 o'clock, which is this time of the day. 
so on on uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So Saturday night is us my usual uh, 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 guest night. If anybody wants to come on and stream with me sometime on Saturday nights is when I usually have like to have everybody come in, and we can play a game and and uh, chit chat and you know all that good stuff. So here we go. Let's see if Dana will get in here. She might might need a minute to get set up. Let's see what she says. Oh, she said a few minutes. Okay, no problem. I'll just keep looking for her so I don't miss her. Because <laughs> you know me, I can do the missing. Um, so, hello, hello. Come in, come in. Welcome, welcome. We're going to, we're going to have a fun evening. I'm turning my fan on. And <laughs> I'm trying to get it to do what I want it to do. For some reason, it's not doing it. There it goes. I, I like it to oscillate. <laughs> that's a weird, that's a funny word, oscillate. I think that's where it goes back and forth, right? It's going to oscillate for me. Give me a, give me some, uh, you know, make me feel a little breezy. So, um, uh, while we're, while we're waiting on people to get here, I, uh, we're starting the, we're doing the, the, um, the cluster trade. If anybody wants to be in the trade, you need to just let me know and I'll put your name down here. And, uh, I've already divvied out some partners, a lot of partners. I had 19 partners that I, uh, <clears throat> uh, messaged today. And I've got, I still got, a, I got another little baby list going on. If anybody wants to do the, the clusters. And if you uh, know what a cluster is, it's just a little gathering of some odds and ends and bits and bobs. You can do something simple like this. That would be a cute cluster. Here's one like a flower. And then um, here's another one that is just three circles with three pieces of paper. Um, you know, you can make you can make a little cluster that way. And then I I've been making clusters like this, and it's um, a piece of paper, uh, some text paper. I've got a punch. I've got some threads. Uh, fibers, threads, and I got a sticker, and I got a little, a little said uh, words that say "feed your soul," and a brad in the middle, and then on the back, I glued one more piece of paper and I put a paper clip on it. So there's a nice little cluster. You can put, you know, four or five things on your cluster, or as many things as you want. But the idea was to keep them flat. So that you can get them in, a, in an envelope. And uh, you need two clusters per envelope. And there's Dana. And then uh, then I will assign you a partner. If you don't have your uh, partner, you need to let me know. I'm a coming, Dana. I'm a coming. Here she comes. Hi, Dana. Hey, y'all. How was your vacation? It was good. We had fun. Did you? Yeah. I'm I didn't sure them. The beach was perfect. We didn't even go over to the beach. I didn't go over to the beach. They did. Oh, you were staying on the beach? Were you down to Coco? We were staying at the convention center. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, um, if anybody wants to join the cluster trade, let me know. So I'm assuming that everybody's okay. Uh, I've, I've got 19 people playing already. There's a Becca. <laughs> That's right, Becca. You get treated. We're putting you on the couch tonight. Are you watching TV with uh, 
with Shannon tonight? Are you watching a movie and having dinner and a movie with Shannon? <clears throat> so wait till y'all see what else we're going to do. Um, <laughs> I got to post my picture. We're doing a flip-flop. We're going to paint. <clears throat> okay. And I'm painting this one right here. I'm going to post the picture. So it's got flip-flops in the ocean. She just finished cutting grass. Good for you, Becca. I'm glad you finally got that out of your system. She's been wa waiting to cut grass for three years. <laughs> got to cut grass. Good girl. So let me put this in the group. If anybody wants to paint some flip-flops, that's a fun picture. I bet yeah. Shannon was glad that you got to cut grass. Yeah. Yeah. Give her a break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rebecca sent a photo. Let's see what she said. See it. <gasps> there she is, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> yep. Look at her go. Look at her go. <laughs> oh, Becca, I'm so happy. So when she's not in her wheelchair, she's on the lawnmower, guys. This girl, this is the girl of the year right here. <laughs> don't don't let Shannon near the, the lawnmower. Yeah, don't let Shannon near the lawnmower because she'll break it. <laughs> She's got a field. She's cutting a field out there. I hope you don't want did I hope you didn't run over anything. It's a nice mower. Isn't that a nice Joe's gonna be jealous. Yeah, he's gonna be he he's gonna be jealous. He don't have one like that. <laughs> I really did. Are you too tired to come on and paint the flip flops with with us? She's not allowed to ever use it again. Okay. Hands off, Shannon. Here's what we made this weekend. You just get you a little beverage and sit out on the back porch and watch her, Shannon. That's what you got to do. That's all she needs to do is sit out on the back porch and watch. What'd you do? Let's see. We made I'm going to make your bed. Okay. I'm going to make your bed. Um, Dana went to a scrapbook convention this past week how many days four four days and this is her book she's going to show you yeah we <clears throat> this is just like a little small journal book but we just put it all together basically there's like there's this it it's like a three you know little tuck spot so you can put three different things in here. Oh, that's cute. Then there's this. Then this is a shaker. Oh, okay. Can... Now, when they, when they, uh, you all did each page together or? Yeah. They... Okay. Yep. So they demonstrate each page. Yep. And you have uh, to go, they have to go slow, even though you're fast. Uh, yeah, I'm way ahead of them. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's those. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, there's this one. And I think that's it. Nope, maybe one more. Yeah, this. Love, right? Let's all. Love this right here. Let's remember. Yeah, so. It was easy. That was nice. Um, Rebecca and I did a remembrance page uh, Saturday night. And uh, I'll show it in case some of y'all weren't in the room around. But it, I just posted it this afternoon. And uh, let me get a sec on here. 
and uh, we did a, a, I did a flag, a Remembrance Day flag. Oh yeah, I watched y'all a little bit. I couldn't hear y'all, but I could watch. Yeah, and it's kind of the night sky with the stripes in the sky. It was cute. I had a, I had a, had to struggle with it for a little while, but then I, <laughs> I came around. It came through for me. So, well, hi, Joe. Hi. There's Mr. Joe. Hey, okay. My started. Okay. Um, um, Jennifer's asking me for a book, and uh, before we start to paint, uh, I I made a book last week, and um. And this is what I've got got done with it so far. Uh, it's a it's made out of um, brown shipping paper. It's like a grocery rag grocery bag paper. It's thick. It's a thick cardstock paper, and I'm gluing uh, cardstock paper on it. And I did this today, and then I did some uh, silver foil and. Uh, on a couple of spots to give it some illumination. Illumination. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. And then I put the, I sewed some buttons on as my tassel. Um, Janet Nash <laughs> uploaded a video this afternoon and she had buttons on her task on her book. So I, so I decided, and she put some gold leaf on her book. So I decided I better put something on mine on my book. <laughs> so I copied all these ideas from her, but uh, uh, it's it's been done a hundred times, a hundred times. So what I'm going to do in this book is it's going to be a glue book, and I I glued I glued these these things down on the first two pages, and the inside, and I'm going to put Happy Mail in here, and I've got some Happy Mail. I'll I'll cover this. And 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 put happy mail over here, and it's just um, and got some more napkins to put in, uh, but it's just scrapbooking paper that I I'm used. I folded it in half and cut it to size to fit this book, and this is and then I did the corners with a, a punch, so that I thought that was cute, and so far I like it. So it's going to be a happy. I'll put happy mail down here, and I've got several pieces of happy mail that I haven't used yet um, and Janet likes my tassels yeah and uh, I put them down I put them this away and uh, Janet stacked hers one on top of the other which was cute too but I saw this done this way done uh, years ago and I thought I'm gonna try it so it's they're sewed on there uh, but I've got some uh, pretty cool. Oh, these are old, 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 old buttons. Very old buttons from my button jar. I didn't even a nut them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make a dent. <laughs> and I've got another cookie jar over there of buttons too. So <laughs> if you don't mind, sit that up there beside that orange bowl up on top right there. Okay. Um, but anyway, so there's my book that I've started. Uh, Jen, Jen wanted me to show a book, and then and then Dana showed a book, so that's our book, two books for the day, and uh, I'll begin to glue on this in between uh, paintings and things. So right now we're going to paint. So see what, see what I drew over the weekend. Like oh, I sat there and did these. Your, do your doodling. Yep. Okay. I did a bunch of doodling. And then I, minute, just I, 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 I want everybody to see it. Oh, it's fine. Hold it but up yeah. so I can see your doodling. That is so cute. You do very nice artwork, Dana. You you really do. It's so neat and and well, I uh, just copy from a book. I mean, like I look at the yeah. Thing. yeah I'm I not, do too. I do too. But you just you do a very nice job. So I'm not a good um like bring it out of my brain kind of girl. Yeah, yeah. I have to have a picture too. An inspiration. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so let's get. Uh, oh, uh, Teresa said that she has a plum tree, and uh, she put a picture of it in the group. And let's see if I can see it. <gasps> These are plums. They look like tomatoes. Are they plum tomatoes or plum plum fruit fruit? 
They're awful good looking. Are they? Do they turn? Do they turn? You know, uh, dark. the dark shade, or are these just red red plums? Jealous Moore. Do 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 doodling out my back door. Plums. Okay, so these are fruit fruit. Well, you ought to get the uh, seeds out of them and plant just some more trees. Uh, fruit has been really good this this month. Uh, strawberries are good. Watermelon is good, and blackberries are good. Um, and uh, and blueberries. So thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa, baby. And I and uh, just to let everybody know, I did message everybody with their cluster partner. Hi, Kellyanne, are you home yet? Kellyanne's been under the weather. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Sweetie. So, are you home yet? Oh, you're feeling better. So, memories of elephants playing in the band. Won't you take a ride on this flying spoon? Do, de, do. Okay. Not home till Monday. Next week? Monday? This is Tuesday. Oh, Kelly Ann. She's home for next week? She said till Monday. Oh, wow. You better be careful. Everybody else be leaving. Maybe she got home Monday. Did she? Was that a typo? Teresa said it's a song. I, I I don't know the tune to that one, or I'd sing I'd sing it. So uh, so anyway, I gave Abby some food. I don't know why she's crying. She done ate it. Yep. You got to stay till next Monday. Okay, I read it right then. You were right. And, uh, hi, Roadhog. How you doing tonight? Glad to see you. Glad to see everybody here. Hello, everybody. So, we are going to do some flip flops. Anybody want to paint along? I posted the picture. Posted the picture. I don't know how to get just that one up, but, but we're painting. We're painting this one up here. Okay. I thought about putting uh, scrapbooking paper for my soles of my flip flops. It's a Creed Clearwater Revival song. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Okay, Teresa. They were a little bit above, they were a little bit, um, I didn't listen to them very much. I was more into the Beatles and James Taylor and stuff like that. I wasn't into the big band, the big, big band. That, he, that was a big band. Then what was your, your bird's name? Her bird. Was that Kukuka Chu? Where? That one, the one that looked like a had a head set on. Like oh, a head. on your doodles. Yeah, the one she went through. Yes. Right oh there. yeah, yeah. Well, those are our chickens. Yeah, I didn't name him. <laughs> I don't name them. So we got. Feel like I should paint it sideways, but yeah, well, Kelly Ann, don't you worry. We'll be here when you get out. We'll be here. We we will we will miss you, but we we're glad you're in the in the room with us, and you can talk to us. And if you need to message anybody, I'm up real late at night. <laughs> She's and always up. I'll I'll talk to you. I'll chit chat with you. If you feel up to it, you just let me know, honey. Yeah, we could all send her cards, and that way, when she gets home, she'll have all kinds of happy meal. 
<laughs> I think I got some bingo that went out to in today's mail. My Saturday night stuff went out today. Okay, so I'm going to paint this. Did you get it on Pinterest, Beth? It's on my Facebook group. You want me to send it to you? Yeah, just so I can have the, the whole thing. Sure. There you go. Okay. What did we ever do before iPhones and computers? We'd do all the work that we're supposed to. We wouldn't do. we wouldn't have any fun at all. We would be so bored. We'd be sitting on the back porch drinking iced tea, rock in rocking chairs, just idling. You know? No nope. painting, no crafts. No, no uh, socializing with our friends. <laughs> when we were kids, we did. We played outside. We rode our bikes and climbed trees and build tree houses. And okay, I am going to see what I need to do first. I'm going to look for some scrapbook paper. Now, my problem is going to be that I'm not going to be able to find red, white, and blue paper, but I might be able to do make it. Yeah, I can make it. Let's see what I got up in here. Uh, because I do have solid. I got some of this paper. And then this is what I was trying to get to. I got some blue and I got a red one. And I can make our flip flops. I'll just make them by hand. And uh, I might be able to do more if I've got that in there. This is a holiday uh, book that I've had for a pretty long time. You see, here's 4th of July with the fireworks. Here's Valentine. This, that would make a good ba background. There's some more va another Valentine. There's like two of, two of each holiday. Here's a um, St. Patrick's Day. Here's an Easter. Another spring. Father's Day. Am I getting warm? Oh look, here's a fourth. Here's a Memorial Day. If I can find the beachy ones. There's another 4th of July, this one here. I think I've just found my the whole thing. I may not be able, I may not have to do a thing except make some sand. <laughs> this is going to go real fast, Dana. But I can, use, I can use this for my water. And then these for my flip-flop. And then do some sand. We can make, we can make this work. I'm cheating. <laughs> Becky would Becky would say I'm cheating. It's mixed media, you guys. Mixed media. Hi Sharon. Hi Sharon. You know what? I could do it twice. That's what I'll do. I'll do I'll do one paper piecing and one paint. I'll paper piece it over here and then I'll paint it on the other side. See how fast I can do it. So I'm going to clean up paper. And 
and I'm going to fussy cut my flipping floss. You got something in the oven. It just beeped. So, Teresa is pulling out her machine. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon's give her give her a list. Sharon, Sharon, give her some things to to make. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, cutting out my flippy flops. There's one pair, <laughs> and uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and I, I'll try to do the blue pair. Got a pair of sunglasses on it. Like that. Got two pair of flip flops. And <clears throat> so I'm going to put my water up here. much water I can get up there. Like that. Let's try that. off here Ooh, I'll cut that too short so how many was at your convention um I think they have 50 seats that they did oh, so mm -hmm. okay yeah. Well, that makes a nice crowd. Yeah. And uh, did you go with Cindy or Candy? No, my friend Leslie. Leslie. Candy, don't, Candy don't scrapbook or anything. Okay. So um, it's hard to get her involved. <laughs> my friend Leslie and my friend um, Michelle normally goes, but she had something else to do. Okay.
Okay, I got my water there. I'm going to put another piece over here. How would I do that? Get these little corners covered. more paper so um, Stacy's here hi Stacy hey Stacy Pam's here hi Pam So I did that. I put my elbow in the glue. I've got glue on my elbow now. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to be all sticky today. So the next thing I'm going to do is put my sand down and I'm going to throw some paint. <clears throat> I like to use that uh, territorial stuff. Ter territory. Territory. That's a hard word to pronounce. And we're going to goof off with this. Let's get my fan brush out and see how it works. Making a beach. Oh crap, Ola. I did exactly what I shouldn't have done. <laughs> did you make two left feet? Yeah. Then I can. <laughs> okay. Two left feet. Uh-huh. And I knew I shouldn't. I knew I didn't need to do that. Okay, there's my beach. But wait, there's more. When I do my sand, if you ever, of course, I've got a lot whiter sand down here. My sand is a lot whiter. It's more of a gray. Um, but um, sometimes, um, have you ever gone to the beach and you, you the sand sparkles? Yeah. I like to put sparkle in my sand. So I might might put a little bit of gold on here. It won't need a whole lot. Won't need a whole lot. You can also splatter. I think splattering is, is a fun thing to do too. Um Sometimes we have beaches down here that are uh, shell beaches, and that's where they actually make sand by chomping up the seashells a little bit. Up in Flagler Beach, which is about an hour north of me, they've got man-made sand up there. And, the, and it's all shell. You can still walk on it, uh, but it's it's a uh, it's kind of hard to walk on so I've got a little bit of yellow there and we're going to water it down I got a new stamp and it will be perfect oh boy what's what is it it's this one 
Oh, the waves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you buy that this weekend? No, I bought it last weekend at the expo. Oh, at the expo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to put some little speckles of shell on my page. So I don't want any big ones. I don't need any big drops. Just little drops. And then sometimes in your shells, uh, you got different shades, right? Of shells. Letty. So let's see if we can find a little bit of a different shade. See how our beach is going to be here. Yep, everything is getting speckled. Everything is getting speckled on my desk. So I'll put the, uh, the glistening now, the gold glistening now. See if I see how if it'll do it, if it'll splatter for me. We'll find out. I think I see it. I think I see it. So we'll try that. I got to get some white in there too for my, my, uh, I got to dry this first though. It look like sand. God. Everybody's singing. Hi, Kim. Kim's got a grandson, 12 years. You still call him baby. Uh, let's see. Hi, Sherry. Sherry's here. I gotta tell my son to bring my phone. Margaret. Margaret's here.
Okay, let's try that. Now I'm going to get some white out. And we're going to make some some waves. <laughs> we're going to try to make some waves. Let's start out with that much. My child has taken my heat gun again. Uh-oh. wonder what he was making. He uses it to shrink the wire cable. Oh, around. I see. He was working on his car. I don't care if he uses it, but it torques me when he don't bring it back. All right, hold on. You texted him? <laughs> Text him to bring it back. <laughs> so, splishy splash waves. That look like waves? I think it kind of looked like waves. Look. That look like waves? I think I better stop. I better stop while I'm ahead. So, uh, there's Ma's channel. Thank you, Janet. Go ahead and put Kim's in and anybody else. Hi, Sherry. Uh-oh, she's still trying, but it's not her. You, Sherry's YouTube's not working right. Okay. Hi, Colleen. Hello, hello. We're, uh, we just started the cluster trade tonight. If anybody is interested in trading clusters and you have not received your partner's name now's be a good time to tell me so i can give you get you a partner i got a couple more stragglers so now all i have to do is glue my 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 flip-flops down Kim's talking about her kids, the grandkids. My grandson is coming down on Saturday. Probably it'll be probably right in the middle of my stream, but that's okay. I won't care. They won't care. So there's our flippy flops there. They're cute flip-flops that came off of some scrapbooking paper that I had. So uh, I'm going to do this again on the next page, and I'm going to paint it. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> oh, well, it, whenever you're ready, Ma, whenever you're ready to stream, uh, we can go ahead and be subscribed to you. That way we'll get notifications. <laughs> She's got one of her babies that lives there at your house. So it's hard. I know you're busy. That's okay. Kids come first. 
That's right. No problem. Well, it's good to have you in the chat room. So I'm just going to dry this, see if I can get my water to dry, because I got my water on pretty thick. And here's the, uh, the picture. It's not in here. There's and here's my I don't see paper piecing. Look. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Kim, I've got you a partner already. So I will message you your partner in after I get off. So what's wrong with it, Doss? Did Vanessa come in? Come here. Hi, Vanessa. I didn't see you, but that don't mean nothing. My chat's going too fast. Sharon, okay, I'll keep you in mind, Sharon. Right now, uh... Right now, I'm, I'm good, but I will keep you in mind because somebody will, somebody will say, I want to do it, and I'll say, okay. <laughs> I won't turn anybody away. You like my page? You don't see my flip-flops on the beach? Mm -hmm. yeah, I did. Insane. I've even got some beach quotes. I could put a beach quote on it. Leftover beach quotes from I last they were year. Real ones. Yeah. They're pictures of real ones. Now where's that envelope? Where's where's all those those uh uh well that was good Beth put my finger in it put my finger in the paint just don't have enough places to put everything so. Come on. Right. Oh, cute ones. I had a whole sheet of them, but I've I've used a lot of them. I love sandy toes and salty ki kisses. Beach, please. I'm going to use these. Your oven just beeped again. Could you hear it? Did you hear the beep? Really? Really? Not really. Not really. Yes. I heard it the first time. I didn't hear it the second time. Okay. You shouldn't be leaving it. I love sandy toes and salty kisses. Where are we going to put it? You Up like here? Kisses? No, I like salty kisses. 
Who was you chasing in the backyard, Nora? Who was she chasing in the backyard? I don't know. I never did see her. Was it the cat? Cat or animal, whatever it was. She's just out there guarding around and doing her six o'clock. Making her rounds? Yeah, doing her six o'clock. She had a bunch in the <laughs> clock back there. She, uh, something going by. She's always checking out the backyard. Let's see. Everybody okay in chat? So I think I'm gonna put this down on the B on the sand. And I'll put beach please up here. And I'll save this for the next page. Dana's working hard over there, guys. Are you good with a hammer, Dana? Yes. Well, you can come on over and help me. What are you doing? Well, I ain't doing it yet. I'm trying to get enough help. Well, you got to do. Uh, I don't know. Did you talk to Pitchy Penny about our hot tub? Yeah. What did he say? Nope. Yeah, I'll call that guy here in a minute. Call Make an appointment. Tell him to come right away. It's an emergency. Yeah, we just had to spend eighteen hundred dollars on our pool pump, our oh, salt system one. one. Yep. And the salt system. Yeah. Okay. So I just have to uh, fight with this page so I can do it again over here. Uh -oh. You better not let it flip. Why? Well, it's kind of dry, uh, but it's not dry enough to 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 put down. It's dry. It's dry to touch, but not for pressure. Yeah. So we're going to do this again. Now I'm going to get to get the my ocean colors out. Uh huh. Stacy said hi, Joe. He doesn't have his glasses on. They have broke. It's broken. You hear it? Oh my gosh. Sounds like he, he's got something in the oh, back no. of They dropped it, I think. Uh oh. That's what it sounds like. I'm going to mute for a second. Them boys are in trouble. So I'm putting some water in. Let's see how that goes. Give it a little dry.
Anybody, uh, anybody doing doing any art? Kim, I didn't, uh, I didn't get to watch you today, but I did see Stacy for a little bit. So I got called away. Stacy had a whole whole bunch of girls on her channel today. We had about five five of y'all. Angie, <laughs> Angie's home. I'm so glad you're home. I've had withdrawals. Angie withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the longest two weeks, <laughs> Angie. <laughs> it has been long. I've missed you. So let's see. If I can find a nice pointy brush, smell it. Got probably dropped it. Is what it looks like. Hi, Pam. This one won't heat hot, hot enough, though. So I'm making some waves. So, oh, Angie thinks I'm funny. <laughs> I'm just a goofball. Just a little goofball. So, uh, we're just making some waves. Making a few waves. few ripples in the water. I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. That's enough of that. <laughs> That's enough of that. Let's get some... Uh, I'm going to make my beach... Uh, gray uh, gray sand now I'm going to use gray which is a light uh, colored sand that I have down here that's what I'm going to do I'm always making waves that's right I am making waves little dab I always use too much hi Cindy hi Cheryl back up in the balcony okay Cheryl 
think I said hi to everybody. So what I did is I put a little bit of, of collar down and I, I wet my brush real good and didn't dry my brush off. And I, and I added the water to the sand so that it will spread out a little nicer on the page. Because my page is dry and I should be able to get enough paint to spread out all over the, the rest of the page with what I have on here without adding any more paint. We'll see. So, uh, let's see. I'm watching, not feeling good. Oh, sorry, Cindy. Oh, okay. I know what you, they're going to shock you back into rhythm, Cindy. They're going to they're going to shock your heart so that it'll go in a normal rhythm. Acardia or is it acardia? Atrial fib. I used to know all that stuff. Back in the day. I did, I did. I think that'll do it. Now I'm going to splatter my uh, my stuff on here and okay. I'm going to splatter it with a dark gray and a darker gray and some I could do a uh, Something shellish, shell looking like um, an off white. I've got some uh, uh, some antique, some kind of antique white around here somewhere. See this, this, this one, antique parchment. We'll try that one for my two shades of. And then I can use the silver, like I did the gold. On the other page, I'll do this one with a little bit of silver. Oh, yeah. We're going to do it up right. We're going to do it up right. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm having a crap lunch up here. Let's fix y'all back up. Sorry, hit y'all in the head. So I'm going to get my my brush. My fan brush. And dip it into this color. And we're going to 
do a little bit of splattering here on the beach. Did you see that cruise ship that got caught in bad waters? Yes, I did. The Bahama trip. Yeah. Yep. I don't know what, where it was. was it was it? North Carolina. Up in the Carolinas, I thought so. Yeah, it, they were headed home. And uh, they said that the, the captain's going to get in trouble. Probably. Because he, uh, well, first of all, he kept everybody in silence for 12 hours. Yeah. And did not make any announcements. Yeah, and that's nerve-wracking. And that's too long. You should have had, you know, at least every four hours a little update. Well, he's but, got plenty but, of people that can give an update. Yeah. Nope, I have no desire to go on a cruise ship. <laughs> We're going in December. Are you? Yeah. <clears throat> we haven't been in quite a while since the boys were little. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess... Uh, The youngest one will still be in school. We get be a, a, a break. Oh, they're, the boys ain't going. Oh, okay. It's for our fifth, our friend's fiftieth birthday, I think. Oh, okay. Um, and so it's kind of an adult thing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna plan one probably next summer for yeah. the boys. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. My mom and dad used to travel when we were at home, too. Yeah. And leave us behind. We don't a lot, but every once in a while, you got to get out. My mom and dad liked to travel. They they would get these, uh, do these bus tours. And, oh, yeah. Uh, they liked meeting people. You know, on the buses, and they they did, went to England and spent like two weeks over there on the bus, and they tooled them around, and they met, they knew everybody mm -hmm. on the bus, you know, before they were done, mm -hmm. and they were all pen paling each other by the end of the trip. But she's been to uh, Italy, and she saw the Alps. And she uh, went up into Germany a little bit and France. And then um, they traveled across the United States twice. They, uh, they went north, the north route one time, and then they come back like on the south route, 66. And yeah. They they did a, a complete circle of the United States, and then they went on an Alaskan trip. I definitely want to do Alaska. On she said that cruise. was your favorite, the Alaska. Yeah, and I uh, would like to do that, like before I get decrepit enough that I can't enjoy it. <laughs> and it was it was a it was like a like a four day cruise. Uh huh. It was a quick cruise. Oh, you did so good on your flip flops. <clears throat> Very Thank nice. You. I'm going to use these. <laughs> <laughs> Since I did two pages, I don't have time to paint everything. And don't want to waste them.
and they've done they've gone all the way up the east coast my mom and dad did and she's got scrapbooks for each one of the trips that she did and That's i've got cool. all of her scrapbooks <laughs> yeah um i want to do the alaska for sure and i would like to go like over to ireland yeah yeah Yeah, I've talked about it, but I don't know if I'll ever, ever get over there. I told Janet I would come over and see her someday, but we just my we family don't... is from our, our they're Irish and English, so uh -huh. Uh -huh. my daddy was from uh, England, his his ancestors, and they went over and uh, looked up the grave. Well, you know Ellis Island. Yeah, yeah. That's my family. Your family's in Ellis Island. What's your maiden my, name? Ellis. Ellis, okay. Mm -hmm. There was you know, seven brothers that came over and split up. That's uh, pretty cool. Mm hmm. Uh, my my mother was a miller and um, I've got a family tree of the Miller family coming off from Ellis coming off of the boat yeah up the, up the, from I think they ended up in Pittsburgh uh, is where they were originally migrated down from yeah and uh it uh it goes back to 1600s the tree family tree does it's it it was a it was a the original one uh my cousin has the original copy and it was on a window blind is how mm -hmm. my grand my great grandfather printed it out on a, he drew it by hand the tree uh -huh. and uh it was pretty interesting and he did a genealogy book <clears throat> but uh, but anyway mother mother uh and uh she didn't have any other brothers to carry the miller name on so our branch ended uh -oh. so, you know That was the end of that. Well, the guy that we did the benefit for, his last name is Miller. Yeah. Yep. I had a whole bunch of copies of our of my map, and um, I've given them all away except for the, mine. I've given them all away to everybody who who I come in contact with, so that they can trace back. Because I know you can trace your, they can trace back to it. I mean. Yeah. We're all along the East Coast. Can you all hear the waves? <laughs>
I just like this page so much. I just had to do it twice. It looks like they're sitting right there in the sun. Yep. I think I'm going to do JB5 tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay. So I want to I want to do it until I get my book finished. Okay. Which might take a while, but So Dana's streaming tomorrow at 4:30, guys. 4:30 tomorrow on Dana's channel. We're going to do JB5s, which is journaling by fives. It's a it's a game. See this speckled sand? This is what my beach looks like down here. <laughs> and this is a this is a Myrtle Beach. You know, Coco, I don't like the sand there. Oh yeah. No, it's really coarse. Super coarse. Well, more than likely it was from pumped back in from the ocean. Yeah. And, and a lot of times they get, you know, a lot of shell sand. Yeah. I mean, it's been like that for a long time. And Melbourne's the same way. Well, Melbourne's not as bad. Yeah. So, uh, that cocoa is. We're still in May. We're still in May. We got one more day. can say we've all been to the beach today oh Stacy's got her her family's from the Mayflower needs a seashell or crab well we'll just see what we can do about that <clears throat> we got plenty of time I know mine needs something Let's just see what we can find. I've got a few more things up my sleeve. I've got a few more tricks. See what we got in the old napkin journal. Look, a beach ball. Look, a crab. <laughs> we got a crab and a beach ball. Uh-huh. There's a turtle. There's another seashell. Here's some more seashells. Here's some fish. We're going to put some fish in the water. There's a big shell. Can't do can't put too much on there, guys. It'll look tacky. Look, we've got a float. We could put a float in the water. There's always some some kids always left their float behind.
Let's see what we can do with this match. Message in a bottle. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Bye, Kim. She's got things to do. I know she does. She's a busy girl. A message in a bottle. Well, we'll take one of the crabs. See if we can get a crab over here. Okay, there's a crab. Oh, your arm across your shoes looks like they're standing, you stood your shoes up in the sand. <laughs> your arm looks like sand. <laughs> it's freckled. <-y. clears throat> okay. I hated having freckles when I was younger. Yeah. I've been sitting out in the sun for 15 minutes a day. If the sun's a shining. Trying to get motivated. Get some vitamin D. Yeah, get some vitamin D and we'll take this turtle right here see if I can do that turtle and one seashell take that little seashell Okay. Now, let's see. Because I got two pages to put them on. This will look good with the turtle. I drew this turtle so I can put him on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's cute. I like him.
Now got a little starfish. He can go on the page. We can do that. Here's a little clamshell. Put that over there. And oh, there's a sand dollar. We got to put a sand dollar on there. We're gonna we're gonna put a sand dollar. I don't know if that'll look better on the gray sand or the brown sand. And then I'm going to take a couple of fish. What else is in here? Some seaweed. There's a little parrot over here with a coat of arms. It's some kind of a it's a mer the merman man fella one of those gods I forget their names what are the sea the sea guys names that live in the sea mm, not sure Thor? No. I'm going to say Thor, but it's not Thor. What was Ariel's uh, from, the, from the little cartoon Ariel? And Sebastian was the crab. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. been too long ago <laughs> I know I haven't watched that I couldn't even tell you one I used to watch it with part of it with the kids when they were little they're all grown up but my youngest grandson is coming uh, <coughs> next Saturday so uh, I'm not sure how long he's staying he did he only bought a one-way ticket Mm -mm. So he, I don't know what he's got in mind. How old is he? He's eighteen. Just turned eighteen. He's probably gonna go and hang out at the beach a little bit. I don't know what they're going to do, but he's bringing his girlfriend, and uh. I'm not going to, I've already told him that she gets the spare bedroom and he gets the couch. <laughs> yep. He, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. But they've only been dating since, I think, January. And they, they both graduated. And they went to prom together. So I'm not sure really how much dating they've done or how long they've been dating. Yeah. So I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know anything. That, that they're coming down to uh, have a nice 
graduation present that come to Florida for a week or two. So, and I said, well, you know, he's not going to get my car. Forget that. But, but we do have another car down here. My old car. Joe never did get rid of it. And, uh, and he's a car mechanic. So if he wants to work on it and get it running, he can drive it. I'm sure Joe will, Joe can call and get some insurance put on it. Uh, when they get down here. So that won't be a problem. And, uh, and I can show them where to go park and, and, uh, because the, the Impala doesn't have, uh, a beach pass. I'm not even sure my car has a beach pass. I have, I'll have to ask Joe, uh, but we usually get a, a beach pass, you know, for one of our vehicles. And, uh, So that'll be that'll be fine. So anyway, I'm going to put this fish there, and this fish on the other page. Sebastian, I think it's going to go over here because I don't have any red on this page like I do the other page. Let's see if y'all can see a little bit of both. <clears throat> so and then Make this yourself fish. big. Make yourself big. This is she shell over here. Okay. I just have to decide where I want to put my shells. That one doesn't even show up. It's 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 just it's not very really good. I might just omit that one. <laughs> Reject. So let's see what we can do here in the surf and put one fish over here and one fish over here. I don't know if I want that one or the other one. Probably that one so this one doesn't show up on that page so i can get a different color fish i'll just use this one i'll just get another fish i've got plenty of fish there's a lot more fish in the sea more than one fish in the sea so let's get the get one of these Sunfish. But um, but she's already told Ethan. She says, "I don't care what you all, you and your grandpa do." I'm going to go in the craft room with Beth. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know what she wants to do. So we're going to, we're going, I'm clear. I'm in the middle of clearing a table off over here for her. So she can have plenty of room and uh, I'll get her a book started and, and she can decide, look at some of my stuff and see what she wants to do. And I mean, she may, uh, she may want to do the pottery yeah and, and if that's the case we'll go out there and do pottery I, I she could go out there and both of them could do pottery he maybe he'll do a a <laughs> lazy <laughs> i wonder if he's seen that movie <laughs> probably never seen it um. <clears throat> uh-huh No, he's a good boy. He, uh, none of, none of Janelle's, none of our grandkids have gotten in trouble for anything. And, uh, his brother, who is about a year and a half older than him, he's just about ready to graduate, uh, community college in December. 
and get his two year degree in in IT tech and uh, and I just recently found out that he went and got his online degree to be ordained so mm -hmm. that he can do ceremonies. Yeah. He can officiate ceremonies. And he got his uh, notary public license. And uh, so he's he's learned he's gonna he's gonna earn money. He wants to earn money. Exactly. Tyler. Yeah. So uh, here we go. Oh, is this East uh, East uh, Nicholas? Yeah. Did you open it? Oh, yeah. The end of it, probably. And this is another graduation. He's a cutie patootie. This is my nephew. Oh. <laughs> he looks with the long hair. He, he looks just like his my yeah. brother. Grandpa. Dad. And Ethan Ethan's got long hair too. Yeah. Now this this guy here, he lives up in West Virginia. Dustin's as long, it just won't lay down like that because it, he's got the poof going on. Yeah. The poof. Yes, his hair is a hot mess. And I don't care <laughs> about the hair because we had long hair when we were young and the, the um, you know, you can always get a haircut. Yeah. So I here's, guess we need to send here's the easy part. Graduation uh, money to all these graduates we've got going on. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll we'll celebrate him when he comes down. Yeah. We'll we'll take him out to eat and stuff like that and and uh did, I can't remember. Did we take him on an airboat ride? That was with Dennis and Deb, wasn't it? Uh, I think that would be fun for them to do. And they might want to go to, to uh, Space Canaveral. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, that's, a, that's an all-day thing. And I would, I would drop them off and then go back and because it's an hour drive but I, instead of staying there all day let them stay there all day and we'll go we'll just take another drive and go back down and get them uh, we'll go over to the, the uh, orange to the vegetable shop it's just on the way back down still going all the way back no, they'll stay. They want to stay there for like six or seven hours. Oh. It's it's an all day event at the Space Canaveral now. Maybe I'll take and give you a run to do that to the <laughs> St. John's River. Well, you better get out there right now and get that pontoon boat going. <laughs> that would be nice. I would go out on it if you if it's up and running, but I'm not going to wait and watch you work on it while they're here you need to work on it before they get here and that's why i'm trying to get the hot tub ready fixed fixed up and the pool's ready the, the pool's perfect i've been getting in the pool every day and it's been real nice so they can and then and then i can take them over to the beach and drop them off and then go back in about four hours and pick them back up because the beach is only 15 minutes away. But I would do the same thing with uh, the Space Canaveral. Uh, you know? Now I'm missing a finish. There's one. I had another one. It blew away. So there's a seashell and there's a fish. Let's see, we're gonna put this one over here. And 
Where's my sand dollar? Missing a sand dollar. I was going to put this shell over here on this page. It's gray. And there's a starfish. I can put it over there. I guess I could put that over there. We'll put Sebastian on here. All right, I'm going to glue them down. Paraphernalia. <laughs> We've got beach paraphernalia. <clears throat> Got to be real gentle with the napkins. I got to find that sand dollar. I might have threw it away. <laughs> There we go. Put this one down here. And we'll put the turtle on the other page and we'll put Sebastian over here. That's a that's a cooked a cooked uh, crab. They're not orange until you cook them. We'll put them the other direction. There he goes. He's going down to the seashore. Oh, and then this one over here, we'll put uh, the sea turtle down there. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get Dana back in here. See what she's done. I didn't do a whole lot to mine. And we'll get this guy going back down to the beach. They come up to lay their eggs and then they go back into the water. And then the babies go back to the water. It's amazing how they have that instinct. It's amazing. <clears throat> I would like to see a turtle. Some people get lucky and get to see one whenever they're out. I What's that? I haven't seen a turtle whenever they're out. Oh, okay. Usually early in the morning is when they hatch. The sun's coming up. I can't remember if I've seen them or watched them on TV. But I have seen the eggs in the nest. Yeah. For sure. I know I, my fan blew my sand all over the floor. 
It's all right. Look at these angel fish in there. Like that. There we go. Oh, there's my sand dollar. I found it. Mm -hmm. You can't see it on the gray sand, so I'll put them over here on the on the the Myrtle Beach up in Myrtle Beach. Now I have found all kinds of seashells down here and sand dollars and stuff. We went down to Sanibel a few years back. Yeah. And they have the best shelling. Yes. I haven't been there, but I watch a girl that uh, beach combs over there, and she puts a week yep. up, a, a video up every week. Is it F S W F S W F? Yeah, yeah, that's who I watch. And uh, she goes, "Let's go to the beach." Mm -hmm. So yeah, there we go. So we'll just let these guys. There's my sand dollar right there. Yeah, there's the other one. So there's the seashells. So, all right. And I got some sparkle on the beach. This one's got silver and this one's got gold. Sparkly shells. I dated it. I didn't. <laughs> what do you want to do next, Danny? We got an hour. I don't care. Well, you're going to have to tell me because um, I don't know what you like. You know, just the magazine thing is the only thing I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get some magazines? Nope. I will not have any. I have the ones that I've had. And that's it. You probably cut them up to pieces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. Um, we could still do prompts. Yeah. I don't care. So uh, I'm going to let this over there to dry. This was the one we did uh, Saturday. It was funny. <laughs> and we did, uh, I think we did two Saturday. I don't remember. Thursday and Saturday. And I did a hippo. The hippo was cute. <clears throat> we yeah. used um, Janet Nash's prompts on bingo night. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and this was just the magazine game with Becca. So let's do another, let's do another some prompts and then maybe we can do some sketching in it and, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, see what I do with her prompts. She's got <laughs> prompts than, than the rest of the world. And I've got them. I've got them. They're right here somewhere. There. Oh, here they are. So, um, I'm just going to pull out about, uh, yeah, the cat for bingo night. Yeah, I did the cat bingo that night. So I've got several bundles, and I'm not going to use those again until we use all the others. There's like two deck of cards in here. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to pick out about 10 and I'm going to show them all at once. Uh, and uh, 
show them all at once and then that way you can put them on your page as you wish oh you're doing the cheat method that becca don't like <laughs> yeah we're going we're, we're doing it differently and i think i think i'm able to do a prettier page some of my pages are kind of they're kind of you know rough yeah you get whenever you can do it your way then yeah so we've got you can write these down if you want all right let me i'll write them down too paper borders paper borders That'll go on last. Something quiet. And you can you can leave some of these out if you don't like them. But something quiet would be like maybe a something asleep, a sleeping kitten, or uh, maybe you you know somebody laying in a hammock. It's quiet. A specimen card. So we get to make a little shaker or something. Something comforting. And that can go with the quiet. And then we want a celebration. Something tie-dye. And you can make it look something tie-dye, like a tie-dye shirt. Gesso. We can put gesso down first. You can color your gesso if you need some texture. Something natural. Something natural. Something sunshine. something sunshine and snow oh my gosh <laughs> so i'm not going to use all of them but i'm i the snow is is unless i find a, a snowy mountaintop or something out of these magazines <laughs> good lord but uh but you might like the sunshine to be yellow or a picture of a sun natural is something in the forest a tree a plant flower celebration could be a cake a balloon a candle a funny hat <laughs> what the heck am i gonna do so i'm just gonna start looking through some th my things and see see what i got on the my, my table pull out these more magazines i reckon <coughs> gesso is a thick substance it's thick and it usually has some grit to it like sand or baby powder or talcum powder or uh, baking soda in, mixed in it with it and it usually comes white but I've seen black gesso and brown gesso. You can add color to your gesso to make it color, but it's a prep. It's like a primer for your page. But a lot of times we use it as a texture paste because it's thick. But it's called acrylic gesso. <clears throat> Find it at Walmart. So I could put. Uh, like these clouds that might be something calm what other kind of napkins do i have i have fish yes you can make your own gesso and you can just use plain white paint if you don't have any gesso just use plain paint white paint would be fine and it might be something you want to just make something foggy over top of something 
Tracy's picture is posted. Okay, honey. Uh, I don't want to do another beach page. Just did two. I want to get a magazine out. So let's try something else. use these for my borders. It said paper borders. These hmm. are scrappy papers. <laughs> I'll use those for my borders. Let's see. I, I just got a magazine. Yes, today's mail. This is the magazine I used the other night. Let's see if I can find something in here. This is going to be a hot mess. You want some more prompts? No. Look, there's some sunshine. <laughs> I could put that at the top of my page and it could be a paper border. Use it. Letty. What's she doing? She comes in here whenever they let her out of the cave in there. Let's see. Yeah, you can make your homemade gesso. This is pretty darn natural. Yeah. And it's also calming. Yep. Quiet. Here's another sunset. Do we want more than one? Sure. We can do more than one. I've got an idea. See these mountains? You want to make I'm going to make the mountains and I'm going to make my own snow on top of the mountain by tearing them and it's going to look like snow. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I still don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new. So I can take and put this on top of my sunset and see my snow covered mountains. Uh, that's using your, your creativity, guys. And I can use flowers. I watched a video of these people trying to get a rope off of this baby dolphin. 
and a shark came up to try to eat the dolphin and a whale knocked that shark right out oh boy mm -hmm. okay and there's my nature my natural my nature got my sunshine i better mark them off or i'm gonna, I'm gonna get confused so I've got my sunshine and my snow and my natural and I've got my gesso out. I'll use my gesso first. And I have some tie-dye on my desk i've got a cluster that i made with a uh, batik tie-dye fabric so i'm going to put that on my page my cluster so that'll be that oh lord I need a celebration. If y'all see anything, let me know. <laughs> Might find the word. And I'm thinking my nature and my quiet be together Now, a specimen card is like something botanical or a bug. It, yeah, it's just one of the little, I don't know. Can use a bracelet for a border. 
for my border. I got three, three of those. And if you watch, you might be able to see the word celebration. He looks like he's celebrating something, don't he? He does. He's okay. really breeding those people. I'm going to cut him out. more crabs there's these little boys that ride their little bikes out here in the yeah. afternoons and you can hear them out there just a screaming and laughing Looking for something. I don't know what. I guess I've got that um, a specimen. I could use one of these birds for a specimen. And this guy here, he's playing the guitar. So he's probably getting ready to celebrate. He's going to do some celebration. Just need to find a little cupcake or something. Or a toast. Here's the Kentucky Derby. Enchantment. Make your moment. Dating the beach vacation. I don't know. I used to have some tied out scrapbook paper, but I could not tell you where it is.
Well, I don't know. I think I've gone through this whole book. Let's see what I got. I could put one of these birds in a, in a specimen. a dog he can, be, he, he can be a comfort dog We've got a dog, and we're going to put this bird in a specimen holder. I couldn't, didn't see any bugs. That's what I think of as, as a specimen. Yeah. We'll put this gesso down on my page. Oh, let's see. Uh. Oh, um, Mall, here's my, uh, here is my uh, my Facebook group. And you have to ask to join and then I'll accept you in uh, after the show. So I'm just going to use my Just so put it down here on my page. And uh, another thing, you know, whenever you do these prompts, there's no right or wrong guys. You do you do you. You do whatever you're creative and if you make something up and that's a go. That's good. So you're allowed to make it up and and uh, switch it up. And if you don't like something, you can change it up. So I'm just going to take and put a little bit of color on this green, on this gesso, make it a little bit of a green. And uh, turn it into some ground. Mm -hmm. like that and if you use another shade you can make a tone oh gosh I didn't need that much too late 
making it like a, a field or something. So, like that. Slap it down. Slap it down. So I used some of that. Just so. What did uh, Is there something I can send to you? Send to you, Ma? Uh... Thank you, Colleen. Okay, Melissa. We'll all have to get after her and have her send you another batch because you should have gotten them by now. Colleen's been up in the balcony. Okay, no problem. You've been out in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of my pictures down here. And I'm going to start with my son. I don't need two sons. I'm just going to use one. one I don't have any tie-dye crap well you know how you um I just have boho stuff I might uh, use. you can do a tie-dye design yeah ripped paper with ripped paper yeah And I'm using my cluster. Where'd my cluster go? Because it's tie-dye. You know what? This what? Sunday this Sunday will be the first Sunday for our other game. Oh, Okay. You know what? I was just thinking about that. Tom keeps flying so fast. He does. It flies. I got to figure out something to... There's my mountains. My snow-covered mountains. I need to write a goofy something. Yeah, if you're going to do it. I usually do it the night before. <laughs> oh, well, if, if that's the way you work, <laughs> I think that's great. I don't know how, but. Well, you're a natural. No. <laughs> well, you are. You can do it. So there's my mountains. And I can even put a little bit more white on the mountain tops. I'll show you how to do it with your palette. If I can find my palette. I'm going to mute for a second. Okay.
So if you take your palette knife <laughs> and you get a little bit of white paint on the edge of it, like that, you can take and just do some, it's kind of stuff that Bob, uh, Bob, Bob Ross would do. He would make some, some uh, snow mountaintops. And he, he'd make a noise, you know, and go down the side of the mountain. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm going to be like Bob. So there's my snow. So you don't have to have, you know, a real picture of snow. You can tear your paper and, and do artificial snow. So I think that looks really cool. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to walk, step away from the paint. I think it looks great in the picture. So we're going to leave it like that. Yeah, there's our there's our my mountain snow. Uh, what is she wanting? And I'll and I'll do it for you. What does Ma want? And I can can I do it? The mall doesn't have any napkins. Well, we can fix that. I can fix that for you, Ma. What? Uh, what's your first name, Ma? Ma, 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 Ma. What's your name? Join my Facebook group, and you can get in my address file. Okay, I'll put it in. Just a minute. Let me find my phone. <laughs> I can put it in for. Oh, you found it. Okay. Join my group. Join my group. And, um, and I'll accept you in a little bit. And then at the top of the group is an address file. And you go to the comment section. And, um, you can put your address in the comic section of the address file, and and then you have uh, will be in our happy mail thing, thingy dingy. Let's see if she's already in here. Oh, there was Cheryl's picture. I have to go back. Okay. Tina. I'll see if I can remember Tina, okay? I'll try. Uh, Tina, Tina. There was somebody else that didn't have a lot of craft supplies the other day, but I don't remember who it was. And I don't have an address or nothing. Dang it. Okay, you're in. I got you, Tina. And the, the first... When you go in, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see this. And then you touch it and scroll down to the comment at the bottom and add your name and address and your birthday. And they're filed. It'll be under, it'll be under Tina. Okay. And your AKA will be Ma's place. Okay. Do you understand? Like, is that clear as mud? <laughs> so I've got my son. Where's my checklist? 
And this guy here, he's going to be celebrating by playing the guitar. Um, and right now, as of today, we are doing a cluster exchange trade. And I showed how to make clusters last Tuesday. So if you go back to my videos, you can see how to make a cluster. And a cluster is just a little conglomeration of some things. And you can go back and check that out. So here's going to be my borders. I'm just going to put these down. as my borders and I just have them on three sides and that's perfectly fine those are bracelets those are pretty okay and then I have Quiet. Quiet. This is going to be my quiet on the beach. So this is quiet. This is my failed attempt at tie-dye. <laughs> <laughs> it's homemade. That's it. <laughs> it's about as tie-dye as it gets. Uh, I haven't done it yet, but I, 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 I was just going to, well, I've got that as a tie-dye, but I can show you another way to do it if you want me to. I could have stuck it on my paper here and then did it. Well, you take a lot of my three, paper. two or three colors, maybe this one and this one and this one. So, you uh, tear a circle like this, and then you I could do better than that. Let me tear this one out. I'm going to tear this one out. Okay. And then you lay it down on top of, say, this. And tear out this one. And then, and then you take another piece and tear out. And I don't know, would this be tie-dye? Would that this be might be better tie-dye. There you go. <laughs> I'm not doing very good either. So I, I, I just put a cluster on there. And there's a specimen card on top of my cluster. It's going to take this thing 90 years to dry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was, that was a failed tie-dye attempt. But I tried. I'm not keeping it. Okay, so um, let me look in my cluster box.
and my other cluster box. I guess I've got three cluster boxes. <clears throat> I'll just put this on here. And Yeah, there's a collection. And I got a mushroom. So that's going to be my collection. Specimen collection. You probably won't be able to see them, but I know it's there. There's my collection. <laughs> and there's I'm going to put the mushroom on the side of it. And that's going to be my specimen. Yeah. So there. Take that. Okay. So let's see now. Oh, I'm messing it up. <laughs> I've got paper border. Where's my pen? I did the paper border. The quiet is the beach. The specimen card is on the cluster. The dog is comfort. And the, uh, the, the music is the, is the celebration. And the tie-dye is the cluster. The quiet is the beach. The borders is the bracelets. And the gesso is the green paint. The natural is the pink flowers. The sunrise or sunset. And the snow on the mountains. I did them all. I ain't done them all. And I'm just going to take and put this in as a tip in so we can see what we've done. A tip in. So, hi, Donna. How do you do? Did you have a happy Memorial Day weekend? We just did a an art page. So yeah, I like it. This did all right. Tina said she typed up all the prompts. Okay. Uh, rookie is Colleen. Colleen.
Colleen. Colleen. Colleen. Long O. So, Sharon's back. Okay. Okay. That'll be great, Colleen. She's going to do her prompts later. So, the only thing left I have to do on this is to put the date on it. Is the tie-dye the only thing you have? No. <laughs> I just wondered. That's all I see. That's all I got on my page. That's all that's on the page. This. So we have one more day in May, guys. One more day. I'm going to drag it out as long as possible. So, I'm going to straighten my desk up while we're sitting here. Waiting for Dana. Waiting. I, I'm not near. I'm not. That's fine. I got things to do. So, I got tie-dye. Uh, I got other things to do. This we'll, is something we'll natural. He's celebrating something. I don't know what the heck. This is comforting, and it's the sun. Okay. So we just pulled out a few prompts. This is stuff in the I can throw these back order. in the bag. Ain't got no snow. Did you see how I made my snow? Yeah, but I ain't got nothing to put snow on. Well, I made mountains out of that green paper. It's the Allegheny Mountains. <laughs> Except they don't have snow on them, but they could in the wintertime. So, uh, yeah. So, I need to take a picture of this. Post. And then I need to take a picture of my other ones, my beachy pictures. Got an extra bird. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. He's going to be flying around. We'll let him fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> okay. So here's my my other beach. Take a picture of this one. This looks like a shark from a distance. <laughs> but it's a fish. It's an angel fish. Y'all, I told y'all I'm not good at this magazine, Garbo. I know. I am not good at it. It's called mixed media. Mix whatever. And then uh, for those of you that came in late, happy Memorial Day. <laughs> and then next week we got to do July 4th. And we will. We'll do July 4th next week. Uh huh. So earlier tonight, I I started this book uh, earlier today or last week, 
and um, and it's just uh, a grocery bag. This is a brown paper bag, like a grocery bag from the grocery store. And I cut it to size, and then I started uh, putting paper on it, scrap uh, scraps of paper. And uh, then on this front, I put some silver, and it looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. And so I did the first page, and I'm going to be putting some happy mail down in these on these when I get them fixed up. So on this page, I can put some paper down. And I, it's just going to be a glue book. Uh, uh, I'm going to cover the pages with pretty paper, uh, painting papers and stuff. And then I'll put uh, Happy Mail on the pages. That's what I'm going to do. So. So. I like regular prompts. <laughs> regular what? Prompts. Prompts, okay. That's so. Well, you have to remind me next time. So Sunday is uh, we're gonna do a master board. Sunday, yeah. yeah. So we'll have we'll have regular prompts then, or have the chat room give us prompts. So you guys yeah. got to come watch us Sunday, or I can do a story. Oh, a story, and then they pick out the prompts. That yeah, if I can figure out a story. If not, we'll just do a master board. So Sunday at 11 o'clock yeah or 10 o'clock well i'll have to ask miss Gigi and let you know it was 10 o'clock for Gigi. Be 10 or 11 yeah probably 10. this already looks bad so i might as well make it keep on Okay. Here is Teresa's uh, flip flops. Mm, those are cool. She did good. Okay. These are plums. And uh, Kim was making these guys up yes, the other day. And uh, yeah, those like, are funny. I think they're funny. I like to make some of those, but I just don't have enough time to do it. Melissa loves your storytelling, Dana. She huh? likes oh, my stories. <laughs> I don't know about. It's a hot mess. <laughs> when you tell stories on the prompt on the Sunday thing, I think that's what she's talking about. Yeah.
All right. I don't know if I got everything, but I'm done. Okay. Close enough. Mm -hmm. I might have got it. <clears throat> That's pure torture. <laughs> well, we got to find another game to play then. Oh, we should have done the envelope thing. Oh, okay. yeah. We're going to do that next month. Though. We have time. Because... Uh, because I'm giving everybody till June the 15th to get their clusters out in their Happy Mail. Uh, June the 15th. If you haven't received your name, if you can't find your name, message me. Because that's where it's at in Messenger. And uh, if, you're, if you're doing this cluster trade, you need to message me. Uh, that you're on top of it, and and they go out by the 15th of June. Got 15 days to do it in. That's two weeks. See, here's what mine looks like. It is ugly, ugly. Well, you got a story with it? Nope. Will <laughs> it's. It's, I like the way you've, you've blended the, the edges in together. That's the only thing that blends well. <laughs> see, this is the, let's see. This is like the comforting one in the, um, in the sun. Is that a sailboat? No, it's a place where there, there's seats here and like a canopy. And just the sun. Oh, okay. Like they're looking over, looking the water. Okay. Yeah. And this is the snow thing. This is the like the serene kind of thing, something natural. Okay. Then she is like, this is the quiet because when you're down there snorkeling, it's quiet. And then yeah, this man, it is quiet. Yeah. This man is the um, he's celebrating something. This flower he's celebrating. This, it's the flower festival. There you go. See, so he could celebrate that flower, and it's it's on the top of the tie dye thing. There you go. See. Yeah. Good. Sad. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes everything can't be great every single time. It would, you, you, would, you wouldn't get any gratification from the times that you do good. <sighs> right? Yeah. If I say so. That is just pure torture. <laughs> well, we need to come up with a different game. Yeah. I don't know why I struggle with that so bad. Well, you you don't enjoy it. You know, if you enjoyed it, it I think it would I think it would be different. Yeah, maybe. I'm not a good like thinker, I guess. I don't know. Like well, you just just gotta get, you just gotta learn how to do it. But you're a lot better than you used to be. Yeah, maybe. So that's good. See? Angela liked it. I can copy anything. <laughs> I love your drawings. You should have just put all them on a page, an art page. <laughs> and write the words beside each object. That would have been cute. I'm going to make um, some ATCs out of these. But I am I am drawing bigger ones so I can put them in my journal. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it a night. It's almost time. All right. So, uh, thanks for coming on and yeah. playing with me. It's always better to have a partner. I've been struggling with headaches. That's why I'm so quiet. Sorry about that. Well, that's okay. Is it the pressure? I don't know, but from the storms, it's been every stinking day. Like and not letting up, like all day. No break. Are you drinking enough water? I never drink water. Or fluid. Yeah. But so I don't it's know. It's been hot. I just, I keep it every single day for like, this has been going on for about a month. Yeah. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. I'm probably just gluing another page. So I'll get that done. I got that one done. So I'll start gluing in this book maybe later on this week if I can get some gluing done. So thanks everybody for coming in and hanging Thank out you. with us tonight. Have a good night. So you guys uh, message me if you have any questions about the cluster trade. And I'll see you all again uh, tomorrow at 4.30 over at Dana's. Bye. Good night. Bye, Bye everybody.